Hi there, I'm making a video today about a Roland V Mixer M400. I'm making this video because uh, I was looking on YouTube to see how I do certain things uh, with the faders um, because I have one here. It has uh, 13 faders which are playing up. Now sometimes it's difficult to establish which faders have gone. Um, there is a test mode that you can get into um, and that does uh, does help you out. I managed to establish all these faders being faulty. They they mess around on their own, like a, a ghost has um, got into them or something like that. Uh, they are motorized faders made by Alps. Um, but the thing is, this mix has come from a church and in the church, uh, they didn't used to cover it over, they just left it open and it's been there for years open with all the dust falling in it so it's this is why the, the faders have uh, given up now uh, i don't think uh, cleaning is going to help much on these really i think they're well past it now it's quite old this mix and you can see around this uh, button here um, it's just quite dirty and well well used uh, it's a very good mix of this actually um, it reminds me a bit of the LS9, which is the Yamaha version of this, which I've worked on uh, quite a lot as well. Also PreSonus as well. I've, I've worked on most of these things now, um, but since I've got this in, uh, together with uh, the Digital Snake, which has some communication problems apparently, um, I thought I'd make a quick video on how to calibrate the faders because this doesn't seem to appear in the service manual so i just thought i'd tell you as an ex uh, roland senior engineer how to do it and what you need to do is switch the unit on whilst you're pressing down the system button here if you do that you come up with this menu it boots up with this menu um oh, it's a bit of glare on the screen there i'm sorry but it says here uh, oh there we go that's a bit better tells you the system version the panel version fader version and there you have factory initialize clear password fader calibrate so that's it what you want to do it's not a touch screen so you press f3 fader calibrate you get this menu now with these buttons on the top here you can select which fader you want to calibrate and you can calibrate them all individually or all of them at once if you want to calibrate them all at once, which is what I wanted to do, because they were all out, I wanted to check them all, you just press this button here, and it indicates all at once, and all of these green lights are flashing here. So uh, what you do, uh, there's a obviously, oh, it's ex self explanatory really, but I'll tell you anyway. Um, you have the set infinite position, so obviously that's right down to the bottom here, they're all on the infinite position. Make sure they're all down there at the right position. And uh, and then you, you just press that and then set. It says processing and now these are all set to that position. They're all calibrated to that position. And you just go through them all, then it's minus 20, then zero, then uh, 10. And that's it and you you just go through this uh you press the minus 10 zero depending on where they are and then uh you store that and that's it you've calibrated all the faders if you've got a particular one that's a bit tricky and in my case i've got 13 that are tricky you can calibrate them singularly um so once it's calibrated you should notice that um they will go more accurately to the space where you set them within the scene. You have scenes you set up on these things and um, they will be more exact there. Even this with uh, the 13 phases that need replacing uh, will go directly there. Now as for the faders, they are motorized and they are made by Alps and they're the same as the Yamaha faders on the LS9. And they might be the same as the Pisonas players, I'm not sure. But they are motorized, made by Alps. Um, they're, they're quite pricey, really. Um, I wouldn't really recommend getting any from AliExpress if you don't know what to look for, because uh, there's obviously a lot of cheap Chinese copies on there. 
Uh, I don't think they're going to last uh, that long. Uh, but I was fortunate that I, I know what I'm looking for and I actually managed to find these on AliExpress and they are genuine Alps ones. They even come in the correct tray that, you know, when I used to buy them in from Roland and buy them from Yamaha, they always came in this flimsy tray. And obviously on the side, it's got Alps written on it. And if you study uh, one of the original faders, um, you can see what they're like uh, and what markings they should have on them. So if, if these are actually clones, uh, they're, they're blooming good clones. So uh, I've got some original faders up here in, in my box up here. Let's have a look. Uh, I've got some original cables and faders. Uh, these are from these are from a Yamaha actually, but these are exactly the same. I keep that, kept the faders just in case I needed parts from them, but here's a fader that I replaced off a Yamaha. This is for the 01V, I think this came out of. Um, and you can see there, there's a, a cog up the top there with a belt around it. Hopefully you can see that. I know that when this video comes out, it's not as clear because YouTube do compress the videos. There it goes. The other end, see the motor at this end, and the other end there going to on a pulley, and there's a belt there. Uh, quite often this belt becomes slack, and um, this is what causes the uh, slippage. I don't think there's any real way you can adjust the slack on that belt. Um, so it's, if the belt becomes slack, as far as I know, you can't get the belt separately, although I haven't really looked. I could disassemble one, take the belt off and see whether they there is a similar belt that I can get from somewhere else. But the belts generally are the culprits. But also, obviously, um, when the dust falls in there, um, you know, uh, the dust gets on. These are basically read by voltage. Um, so when the dust gets in there, it, they don't read properly and they can agitate, move up and down. Um, so what I did, I looked out for these. See, so notice there's nothing to stop the dust from getting in here. But these ones here from, uh, that I got, they're genuine Alps ones that I managed to get from AliExpress. These have got the dust guards on, which is like, um, it's like a felt, I think it's felt or plastic. No, it's felt. It's a felt sheet which goes on there. So the newer versions of these have a felt sheet on there. And that obviously um, keeps the dust out so they last longer. So, um, yeah. So this hopefully will be of help to someone who's got to replace faders. The same goes for the LS9. There is a, a calibration procedure for the LS9. Uh, I haven't got one here that I can show you. Uh, there's also um, 01V similar sort of thing really they all use these alps motorized faders which are really good i don't know if the um behringer midas uses alps faders they might use some sort of chinese equivalent or something i don't or they might use alps i don't know i haven't worked on one of those yet but obviously when i get one in for repair any of these things i'll try and put a video uh, on for them um now i've got to test this with the with a digital snake here because uh, they say there's communication problems i've got to test all that out now uh, using a cable um, a standard lan cable actually category six lan cable will do it and um, and sort this out but uh, hope this has been of some interest thanks very much for watching